Hi, my name is Amber and I'm the Director of Mathematics for iLead Schools. Due to all the changes we've seen in education because of COVID-19, there have been a lot of free resources made available. But the same feedback I continue to hear from teachers and parents is that it's overwhelming to sort through all of these resources to find out what works for them. So I thought it might be helpful if I showcase these resources for you on a daily basis so you could see them in action and see how they could be used for you. So I thought it might be fun to upload daily a fun puzzle or problem that could be solved and discussed. And then the next day I could upload the solution for that problem. So I wanted to start off with a strategy today called Which One Doesn't Belong? There's a book by Christopher Danielson called Which One Doesn't Belong? And it has many different pages of these type of problems. I'm gonna go through one with you and then we will pose one for you to try. So I want you to first look at these four shapes. If you look at these four shapes, which one would you say doesn't belong? Take a minute and think about what your answer would be and why. Did you say this shape because it's a triangle and has three sides instead of the other shapes, which have four sides and are quadrilaterals? Or did you say this shape because it isn't filled in where the other three are? Or would you say this shape because it's slanted? where the other three, if you were to draw vertical and horizontal lines, it would go perfectly through their points. This one would be diagonal. Or would you say this shape? Because it's the only square and its angles are 90 degrees, unlike the other three shapes. The point is to these types of problems is that there are several answers that are correct. You just have to have your reasoning behind why you chose what you chose. So the one I'm going to pose for you to try is this one. I'll also post this as a PDF in the comments. So please take a look at it and think to yourself, which one doesn't belong and why? And then post your answer in the comments. Make sure to include your why. Why do you think that is the one that doesn't belong? There will be more than one right answer and that's okay. And then if you have other ideas of things that could be which one doesn't belong, why don't you create your own and upload them in the comments for others to try? I think it could be a lot of fun to see what we could come up with and share with each other. All in all, have fun with this. It's important to make this an engaging fun time so that we can grow our love of math. With that said, happy mathing.